How about sexual orientation? Sexual orientation is a great hot issue. I'm, I'm very uh, involved in that issue. I, I think it's the last place where we find people being biased and prejudiced. There's always a group out there who needs to have an enemy. You know, it was sure. not that many years ago uh, that you could openly be prejudiced against black people. And there were those who were. And they, they, those hate mongers need an enemy so they can get membership and they can get a gathering. Well, it's not politically correct to, to say you're uh, prejudiced against blacks anymore. You can't be prejudiced against Hispanics anymore. It's a little difficult now to be prejudiced against women, although that still exists uh, sure. more than any other subcategory. So the new enemy are homosexuals, people that have a different sexual orientation. And there is an organized group of people that are finding that if you call homosexuals your enemy, that you get support, you get campaign funds, you get political clout, you get power. And so it's nothing different uh, than any other hate-mongering group. Uh, and I find that to be the new current battleground to get rid of prejudice and bias. Uh, and those cases are popping up in the system right now. Immigrant bashing. Immigrant bashing is another great example. Uh, there was just an article recently uh, about Arabs, uh, Americans, who are concerned uh, that they're being discriminated against and, and people are showing prejudice toward them. I haven't seen that yet coming in my office, uh, but I'm sure it's true. And it's just a shame because it's all the same thing. It's all prejudice. It's all someone who has an inferiority complex who needs to have an enemy in order to feel better about their own life. Um, there is no difference. Uh, all prejudice is the exact same thing. We're all people. We should respect each other's differences. We should celebrate each other's differences.